Most people don't think about logistics or goods movement unless they're passing a truck on the highway. But the reality is that trucking is the plumbing of our economy. Currently, there exists a driver shortage on the order of 80,000, and we expect that to double by 2030. We think that automated technology is one of the ways we can solve this problem by making the trucking industry a lot more efficient. Right now, drivers have breaks. They need to eat. They need to go to the bathroom. They need to sleep. An autonomous system will be able to keep going indefinitely. There's a need to make our logistics system safer, more sustainable, and more reliable. Because when it doesn't work, it affects everyone every day. Embark is a self-driving trucking company. We're working on software that's able to drive trucks from point A to point B on highways to move freight for logistics companies, shippers, and carriers. So we're not here to automate out all of the jobs that do exist. Our mission is to automate uh, the long haul portion, which is the most taxing and demanding on humans today. Back in 2016, we were the first company to start testing self-driving trucks on public roads. That has given us the ability to understand the trucking industry very intimately. This is Marvin, my first foray into the self-driving vehicle industry. My co-founder Alex and I built this self-driving golf cart over the course of six weeks at the University of Waterloo. And initially, we wanted to deploy that as a shuttle service for college campuses and universities. We quickly learned that that wasn't the ideal business case for this technology, but the fundamental ideals around self-driving, it's really important to simplify the problem and focus on a niche application because it's such a hard problem to solve. We're working to develop this new model that we call a transfer hub model, where goods move autonomously between logistics facilities that are adjacent to highways. And they would move autonomously on that segment, but in order to get the goods to the first and last mile of that journey, there would still be human drivers operating on a short haul basis. And because the whole enterprise would become more efficient than it had been before, there would be more of those new jobs created for local routes, for existing drivers to transition into that new type of work. So Embark, first and foremost, is a software company, right? But to empower that software to be as functional as is, you need the underlying hardware. And that's sort of what we do here in the prototyping lab where we're sitting. We've got a team of hardware engineers, mechanical engineers, down to engineering technicians and machinists that are able to work rapidly and iterate and prototype quickly to enable the software development to happen at just an incredibly fast pace. So we're here in front of one of our Embark powered trucks equipped with our multimodal sensor suite. So here towards the back of the cab, we've got our rear facing radar. This sensor allows the truck to see behind it and detect objects and how fast they're coming up towards us. Up here towards the middle of the cab is our side facing LiDAR. The sensor gives us a full 180 degree perspective of everything that's happening on the left and right hand side of the vehicle. And up above the cab is our main sensor bar. This has cameras, long range LiDAR, and a GPS system that combined allows the truck to make the most accurate and safest decisions possible while it's navigating the roads. So today we're out here on our demo route in Oakland. We go on a loop, it's about 60 miles, and drive around various highways with some challenging terrain, challenging situations, and of course we've got challenging Bay Area traffic. So we have all of these different sensors and that lets us sense the world more completely than a human driver can. So a human driver only has two eyes and they can only be looking in one direction at a time while the truck can be observing the whole world in full 360 around it at all times. And one of the things Embark uses that's different than other companies is what we call vision map fusion. So we're using both the prior information in the map as well as the live sensor information from the cameras. As we're coming up to the cloverleaf, it's a very tight corner that you only find on interchanges and not straight sections of roads. And now we have to slow down as we approach this corner because it's a very tight corner to be making and going uphill at the same time, which just adds a little extra complexity for all the various algorithms. All right, we're 
We're coming up to the tunnel here. And this is a, a section that's particularly challenging for sensors. We've got radar and LIDAR that are getting all sorts of interesting returns off of things. You've got those fans in the ceiling. Those show up very interestingly on the radar. As we come out of the tunnel here, you can see that it's very bright and very dark at the same time. And so you need a high dynamic range camera in order to pick up objects in the world. Something that it's really important for us to focus on as we're working to bring this new technology to market is to educate the public about what it will be like to drive next to an autonomous truck. They might not know that actually this truck is safer, it's more efficient, and it's more environmentally friendly than the trucks that they're used to driving next to every day. It's going to revolutionize the way we think about hauling goods, the speed at which we get them, and reduce the number of accidents on the highway, which is top of mind for all of us. There's some real problems to be solved here. And once you start to look at the hard facts of the driver shortage uh, and the number of fatalities that we see on US highways, there aren't very many other problems that I'd rather be working on.